Hi. In this demonstration, we are going to see how to store files in the application specific folder. You can see that using application specific folders to store files. So we need to know how to create such type of file. So when you try to create certain files in the application specific folder, you should know where it will be stored. For that, I am going to display the Android device monitor. So in the Android device monitor, initially it looks like this. We have something called data. Under the data, we have another data folder. And here you can see your package com.example.for example here in my demonstration write.my application and here we have a files right now it is empty so whatever file you are creating based upon this private files that is, that is private application files this will be stored in this location so now we are going to see how it can be done for that Android is providing two standard methods one is file open file input to perform some input operation from that file and another one is open file output to perform some write operation into the file so when you perform some write operation into the file that file will be created if the file is not already there if that file will be created in this location and when you want to use when you want to read the file which has been kept in the application specific folder you have to go for open file input I repeat to keep some file in the application specific folder you can use open file output method so at that time if the file is not already there that file will be created and it will be stored in the location files to read such files we have to use open file input now let me go back to the demo so it is a plain one we have a text view this is just to display the text after reading the data from the file which have kept in the application specific folder first of all I am going to use open file output and we can see there are two parameters we need to pass the first one in which file name you want to create I am going to say that my file dot some txt file and what should be the mode we can go for mode append or mode private when you go for mode private uh, second time when you run the app the old data will not be preserved the, everything will be erased and new data will be returned but when you go for mode open we can preserve the old data so right now I am going for mode open so it shows that we are not handling the exception so we will handle exception first we will say that it takes the file output stream object so I am declaring a file output stream object I am making it as null then I am going to say that file output stream equal open file output the reason is open file output method it returns an object of type file output stream so once we get the reference to this one we can put the data now I am going to run the app and we are going to see whether this file is created in the Android device monitor here we are going to run the app so this is the emulator Now, just to refresh this part. Oh. OK. 
it unexpectedly. We will reopen the Android device monitor. So go to data, under the data, data, com dot, I think it is example, yeah, com dot, example dot, write dot, my application. And in the, you can see that now my file dot is, it is created. So this is the application specific folder. Under my application, this file is, F, the a default folder is called files under this in this folder the new file will be created and you can see that this is the size column in the size column the size is zero nothing is there and now we are going to write some data into that for that I am going to use file output stream dot write method so uh, we we need a byte array okay so to create a byte array first i'm going to create a string object uh, some text data i'm going to put it this is a sample data So to get the byte array, it is very simple. Use string object dot get bytes. Now we need we have we need to handle the IO exception for this. Now we are going to check the app once again. Yeah, now app is running. We are going to check whether anything is written there or not. Yeah. Can, can you see that? My file.txt. 21 bytes are there. If you want, you can cross check it. Yes. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 21 letters will be there, including white space, white spaces. Now we have to read the data from this location so this is the application specific folder so here we have a file my file.txt so if we want to read the data from this file we need to we have to use open file input that's why i told in the beginning so from the application specific from the application specific folder if we want to read the data, we need to use the method. We have to use the method open file input. So what is the file name? My file dot txt. So I'm copying it, put it here. It should be in the string format. And here also it throws IO exception. We need to handle that IO exception. Start off with a try catch. So, what is the return type of open file input? You can see that its return type is file input stream. So, I am declaring the file input stream method here. Sorry, file input stream object. And initializing it as null and say that file input stream equal open file input. Now we can easily read it. For that, I am going to use the buffered reader. New buffered reader, new input stream reader from the file input stream. So now we have only one line of text. If we want, we can write n number of lines. Then we can say that every data, every line of data is appended into the string buffer. Then finally we can 
put it put it into the text view uh, since there is only one line of text i am not going to use any iteration through while loop or anything so i am just directly taking it buffered reader dot read line it throws again an io exception So we got the line, so it is a string data, uh, a string data, and we can directly say that now text view dot append the data which is read. That's all. Now we'll check. You can see that always when you call the open file output it is opened in the append mode so the all data will be preserved i'm going to run it you can see that this is a sample data again this is a sample data just two times it is there If I change this into more private, you can see how it is getting changed. Now you can see that all data will be removed, only the new data comes. It is getting reinstalled. This is a sample data. The reason is the old is removed. Now, suppose you want to display that file location. The location of the application specific folder it means what about the location of my file dot txt in such case we have to use a standard method called get files directory and you can see that uh, this method returns a file object so file returns a file object and using the file object we can call get absolute path it will give the path either you can toast it or if you want you can put it in the log so uh, we'll go with the log you can say that log dot d debug uh, we are going to put some tag the tag is file path is file dot get absolute path close it and semicolon so this is the get files directory method is to get the path of the file which is kept in the application specific folder and now we are going to run once again And uh, here you can see that file path is. If you want, you can create a filter and display this alone. You can see the under data, data, com dot example dot write dot my application files. That's all. Thank you for watching.